guys, today I'm going to tell you how a solar eclipse happens. So the Earth spins the Sun, and then with the Earth, the Moon spins the Earth, and it also spins the Sun. So when the Moon comes in between the Earth and the Sun, solar eclipse happens. What is a solar eclipse? Whoa, it's the middle of the day. So why is the sky getting dark? Well, it's a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when, at just the right moment, the moon passes between the sun and earth. There are two types of solar eclipse. The first one is partial solar eclipse. The second one is total solar eclipse. Sometimes the moon only blocks part of the sun's light. This is called a partial solar eclipse. Other times the moon blocks all of the sun's light. This is called a total solar eclipse. As the moon blocks the sun's light, it casts a shadow on part of the earth. The moon's shadow creates a path as earth rotates. This path is called the path of totality. If you want to experience total darkness during an eclipse, you have to be in the path of totality. In that path, the moon completely blocks the sun's light for a few minutes. It gets so dark that it looks like nighttime during a full moon. If you don't know what's happening, it can be confusing. Animals can get confused too, but this total darkness can only be kind of cool for scientists who study the sun's atmosphere, called the corona. The corona is very dim. It's usually hard to see because the sun is so much brighter. But when the moon blocks the sun's light during an eclipse, all you can see is the light from the corona. Total solar eclipses over the land where people can see them don't happen very often. But when they do happen, the moon gives scientists and the rest of us a glimpse at the corona's beautiful streams and ribbons. Thanks, moon!